Hello everybody, I'm Shamik Mishra, CTIO of Connected Futures in Cap Gemini. And today I am privileged to be with Dr. Gopi Kurup, uh, CEO of Axiata Enterprise, and Dr. Tomas Gershberg, CTO of uh, Axiata Enterprise. And today we will have a short discussion about Axiata's journey uh, in 5G and Edge for enterprises. Um, first of all, uh, th thank you for being here and in our Mumbai studios. And uh, it's a great partnership that we have, and we look forward to taking it forward together with you. So, uh, Dr. Gopi, your first question for you is that the 5G connectivity is expected to transform enterprises. I mean, it has always shown that promise. And how do you see the progress with your enterprise clients in terms of 5G adoption? Thank you, Shamik, for having us here. Uh, it's an interesting time for us because when we first started this journey, it used to be part of a technology evolution from the telco perspective. Mm -hmm. What we are encouraged from is the conversations which we're having seems to be driven by the customers themselves. Mm -hmm. They see the value of, of 5G and what it brings across. Uh, early days, but uh, areas around infrastructure, or port transformation in, in Bangladesh, in Malaysia, uh, garment manufacturing in Sri Lanka, uh, large infrastructure projects in Indonesia, all of those clients are starting to engage with us to see how 5G can transform mm -hmm. their own industries. Fantastic. And, and 5G is, is actually a technology, right? I mean, it's a different matter that it's seen as a, a, a major lever for, for transformation because connectivity is everywhere. We expect connectivity to be everywhere. We expect connectivity to be there 365 days, 24 cross 7. So the reliability of connectivity is, is so important in terms of enterprise transformation. And so, Tom, Tomic, uh, one question to you is that what are uh, the groundbreaking possibilities does 5G bring to or unlocks for enterprises in terms of a technology point of view? So what features, capabilities do you see as the most important thing for enterprises? Um, <coughs> I would say 5G comes with many features that could be relevant. But that what we see is that Surprisingly, just the connectivity, which is industry grade, mm -hmm. is a very strong uh, selling point. Mm -hmm. That you can replace the cables mm -hmm. that are very often the first uh, source of failures mm -hmm. and of disruption in many environments, mm -hmm. like the ports or manufacturing. Yeah. And based on that, we can also, like based on 5G, we can also improve the security. We can differentiate the network performance to serve many use cases. So actually this flexibility, how to address the customer needs is the key. Exactly. And I, I believe that 5G will be the only technology which we can provide mobility to large, uh, large uh, real estate like ports and warehouses and logistics companies. And so uh, coming back to you, Dr. Gobi, what can you do with 5G today that you couldn't do before. And why, why are you so excited about this in terms of enterprises? As a service provider regionally, we're excited predominantly from an enterprise perspective. Mm -hmm. um, it gives us a chance to get deeper into the, the client's business, provide more reliability in, in the connectivity, connect non-traditional devices to get the right sort of data back mm -hmm. for their own operations. Uh, so this is, you know, giving us a, a real good insight into how those applications can work for each of those industries. And as I mentioned, those client engagements has been very good for us mm -hmm. because they see the value of the tech mm -hmm. in improving their own businesses, whether that's a metrics around, you know, occupational self, uh, uh, safety and health, mm -hmm. uh, their own metrics of efficiencies of productivity or quality of productivity. They see this type of reach within that operations to give them that uh, value. Uh, and us, this has been our sort of bread and butter and you know, strength in, in the industry. So we see that as an opportunity to provide that type of uh, mm -hmm. solutions to bring their own uh, industries. Forward. Absolutely. And, and by the 5G is a convergence in the sense it's connecting a device to an edge and, and to the cloud. It's, it, it's enabling applications to consume data from an enterprise context. But does it also uh, work with the security principles that an enterprise would need? And does, do you, uh, as, a, as an operator, think that 5G and Edge actually improves the security or you are worried or you have to have more, uh, more specific solutions for security? I guess we always have to. But what's your take about the overall data 
consumption and security models for 5G and edge? Yeah. yeah, it's a good question because I believe the 5G is the first technology that solved the security problem end to end. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not only you know like delivering the um, good security on the on the access on the radio, but it comes with the uh, security built into the architecture mm -hmm. and with some other features that were not available in the previous technologies. First of all, we see that uh, the identity is better protected, so you can't trace uh, the end, us end user equipment, you can't spoof mm -hmm. the end user equipment. Uh, the architecture itself, uh, which is more secure ba based on the HTTP2, and probably the most important thing is that the signaling itself it's very consistent through in, the, in this technology. While in previous networks we had a kind of patchwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I believe from this perspective, the customers they can feel also the CIOs can see okay, this is the utmost security level that can be delivered. And the second thing is the way how it can be deployed mm -hmm. because network disaggregation that comes with 5G. Um, enables us to deliver very local networks. Mm -hmm. And those networks can be well protected, well is isolated from the outside world. Even they can be like galvanically disconnected from the internet. Mm -hmm. So every level of security can be delivered here. That's, that's a great uh, point. But end of the day, the 5G and edge ecosystem is uh, a collection of several technologies. There are specialist companies who are building use cases, there are consulting companies, there are system integrators, hyperscalers, network equipment provider. So I believe for the success of 5G adoption for enterprises requires an ecosystem, requires an environment of collaboration. So to you, uh, Dr. Gopi, what's your view on the, on the ecosystem development for Axiata and uh, how are you looking at the Capgeminis uh, and your collaboration? That's a very interesting and I think relevant uh, question to it. Um, we ourselves as, as network providers have had to change our views mm -hmm. to how to take these solutions mm -hmm. to market. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to control the networks and the mm -hmm. services end to end, uh, but 5G really gives us an opportunity to work with the best of breed mm -hmm. Uh, in, the, in the, the ecosystem, and as you rightly said, it moves all the way from large hyperscalers who mm -hmm. provide very important tools for us to more innovative, you know, smaller niche players. Uh, that really gives the CSP or us uh, a role to try and stitch the solutions together for the client. And we try and do that very early in the process. Mm -hmm. Um, not all of the, the uh, times which we take the best of breed into it, but we take a very practical approach for fit for purpose, yeah. uh, depending on where the client is in their own journey and then, you know, uh, uh, investment cycles in, into tech. Uh, so very exciting times. It brings, you know, multiple domain together, multiple players together, partnerships like ours together. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're excited to bring that uh, solutions back into our clients too. Absolutely. Tomek, what about you? What do you think about it? Um, <coughs> I believe that, you know, 5G comes with a lot of changes mm. because not only the technology is new, but also the way how we deliver and consume technology. Mm -hmm. We are talking about the cloud native type of applications. We are talking about the very tight integration about the, uh, of the network capabilities with the application, exposing the network to the applications. Mm -hmm. This is a new uh, field which was not present in the 4G. So this is something that I believe all operators need to learn how to master it. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that we have Capgemini as the partner who can help us on this journey. Thank you. Thank you so much for, uh, for uh, the trust that you have in Capgemini and hopefully this uh, collaboration will be very fruitful for both companies. Thank you again, uh, Dr. Gopi, Dr. Tomek for joining us. Thank and you. Uh, we look forward to the collaboration in the future.